Hi everyone, Donut here. Today we've got another Liar Liar Pants on Fire where a police officer in Dallas was caught looting a liquor store. Or was he? Let's head on over to the short bus of the internet, Twitter, and take a look at this post. Posted on October 20th, 2019 by Goonie Beardman at Whole Enchilada. Is it just me or did one of the news stations in Dallas legit just catch a cop looting Patron out of a liquor store after the tornado? It's got 1.9 thousand retweets, 4.3 thousand likes, and 119 thousand views. The video right here isn't as good as the one I found on Twitter where someone else posted the exact same thing. William Long says, did WFAA really just catch a Dallas police officer trying to steal liquor from a demolished store? This one has 8.6 thousand reactions, 6.4 thousand comments, 25 thousand shares, and 1 million views. Let's look at the comment. That's Dallas PD for you. Nah, I'm sure there's a lawful explanation of why those four bottles had to be removed. Public safety and national security and such. <laughs> this one's kind of funny. Thirst responder. The tornado had gently swooped up big bottles and they landed like a feather in the parking lot. He was just moving them for safety. Lamal, dude got caught red-handed. He put the bottles down to save face and pretended like nothing was wrong. And they have been called in, but I, I was told by one of the police officers that a 7-Eleven up here was heavily damaged, and we can see it here um, on the right. So you're going to see it for the first time with us in this live picture. Uh, is that is that it on the right? Why don't you pull in on the... Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, we're, we're going to pull in right here and show you uh, what appears to be... I don't know if that's a 7-Eleven. This is a liquor store, but it is wiped out. There is somebody uh, with DFD. Dallas Police. Police Department, and it looks like he's removing some of the bottles that must have been uh, scattered in the, in the mix. Uh, but, yeah, this is the first time that we are seeing this. The 7-Eleven is still up the street. Uh, but this is just uh, I, Dallas Fire, Dallas Police, the officials that we've spoken with, we've asked where... It's hardest hit, and they said it's just in so, so many spots. They they can't give us a, a, a specific. So we are going to continue to uh, cover this. But as you look live right now at a, at a liquor store, just one seems pretty suspicious, and he looks like he did get caught doing something wrong. Or wait, do we have brains, Google, and eyes? The Dallas Police Department released a statement saying a video was taken showing one of our officers assessing damage at a liquor store located in the 2900 block of Walnut Hill Lane in northwest Dallas. The business sustained a considerable amount of damage due to the storm, leaving it accessible to the public. When the officer noticed criminal activity, he called for backup or cover at approximately 1025 p.m. 43. You have another one man come over towards the 7-Eleven in the liquor store, please. I'm having multiple homeless people trying to run in and steal from all the stuff that's out. Give me that address, please. The officer clearly calls for backup a full two minutes before he is videotaped holding bottles and placing the items on the ground. The officer said he approached a white female with bottles in her hands. He then took the bottles from her and placed them on the ground. He was protecting the property of the business owner. The officer was also there to assist anyone in need of help. I'm just providing the facts I can find online. It's up to you to decide whether or not you think the officer was looting $60 of liquor, risking his entire career and livelihood in front of several witnesses and other emergency vehicles. Uh, what appears to be I don't know if that's a 7-Eleven. This is a liquor store, but it is wiped out. Ah! Snake, are you okay? Snake, removing Snake! Or he probably just called a bunch of homeless people stealing liquor, and he took the liquor back from them, and that's when the news van pulled up. Like I said, it's for you to decide. That's all I have for you guys tonight. I'm going to be streaming at twitch.tv slash donut operator if you want to come support the channel and hang out. I look forward to seeing those of you who come over to Twitch and hang out with me. Other than that, everyone, please have a fantastic day. Great whacker.